Those of you who don't know, Tony Lopez was uh, putting his hands on children in a way that I can't say because of monetization. So I made a video on it, but he's got a lawsuit against him now. So the first part of the lawsuit reads, This case arises out of injuries suffered by minor plaintiffs after they were lured, persuaded, coerced, and groomed in either engaged in physical acts and or illicit obscene child images of themselves to defendants as a result of defendants' illegal acts. So Tony Lopez is in some deep water now. And according to this lawsuit as well, on multiple occasions, first on January 4th, 2020, and again on January 19th, 2020, to Tony Lopez coerced, convinced, and induced and lured uh, H.L. Doe, which I'm assuming is like a hidden name, uh, away from her friends and other people and isolated her to be alone with him. Defendant Toby, Tony Lopez knew H.L. Doe's age and by gaining her trust and confidence learned of her dysfunctional family background. You continue in the the lawsuit as well. Like the victim named Izzy, plaintiff H.L. Doe also disclosed that she was only 15 years old to defendant Tony Lopez after their first encounter, and yet he proceeded to have intercourse with her again despite knowing her real age. Defendant Tony Lopez attempted to keep his relationship with the 15-year-old H.L. Doe a secret because he knew his actions towards her were unlawful and instructed as he groomed her to do the same. So this this lawsuit is insane. This is probably deserved, given what I've read in here so far. I mean, it's absolutely insane, and I hope he gets what's coming to him. But if it comes out later that he didn't actually do it, then I don't know. This this stuff is pretty brutal. So, but I mean, considering they have a lawsuit, they obviously have some sort of evidence, right? You would think that a twenty year old dude with that much fame, he could have all kinds of relations with women 18 19 20 you know 21 22 23 24 25 he could probably get some milfs in there he could probably get some gilfs like why why would he go for a child that is something that always just doesn't make sense to me especially like these bigger like these bigger creators who like have people that would literally kiss the dirt that they walk on why would they go for children it just doesn't make any sense like i get the aspect of like if they got tricked like if the girl was like oh i'm 18 and she was actually like 16 or 15 or whatever and that would be on her that would be her fault she would be a scumbag for it but according to this lawsuit he knew that the girl was 15 and then instructed her to not tell anybody because he knew that it was a crime and it was illegal and wrong so if you know it's wrong and you know it's illegal why continue why bother going you know for the long haul and i mean on tony lopez's live he even admitted to doing this stuff and he said like he was like sorry but it just he also blamed like la he was like oh i'm in la and it's like the city is crazy and i'm getting used to it and all of this kind of stuff but it's just absolutely insane this guy could you know, have relations with so many attractive, legal-aged people. I don't understand the, the thought process at all behind these people. It's just, you know, maybe it's they're sick in the head, I guess, would be the only thing. Since we're on the subject of being sick in the head, Ace Family decided to basically go on a trip despite COVID guidelines. I know you guys are probably wondering what's going on right now. But the truth is... We're going on a trip on a favorite rocket ship. Of course they did. Why wouldn't they? The TikTokers are doing it. The Ace family is doing it. Everybody's doing it. Nobody even cares. So at this point, I'm getting to the point where it's like, honestly, the people who do care should just stay home and let all the people who want to get sick or spread it around, let them go spread it around at this point, honestly. Everybody else who can stay home, just stay home. You won't get sick. And then, you know, whatever. I guess, like, we'll all eventually get it. And then we'll all, you know, build up antibodies or something. I don't know. I don't know what will fix this. I am not a doctor. But you know what the doctors do say. They say, stay away from each other. Don't go out if you don't have to. And, yeah, people are still partying. They're taking flights everywhere. I just want this to stop, too. I'm literally so sick of this. Uh, my five-year anniversary with my girlfriend is coming up, and there's literally nothing we can do. We're going to go to, like, the mall, and then that's that's basically it. There's no movies. There's no anything else really open. 
But the Ace family decided they wanted to go to Mexico. And we have our chefs over here whipping up. Oh, wee. Yeah, it's just crazy. Honestly, like the staff was all wearing masks, but Austin McBroom decided to not. So, honestly, I, I really don't understand why these people can't just like relax for a little while and then, yeah, like, could could you imagine how hard it would be to live in your $10 million mansion with your nice, you know, sofas, computers, your everything you could ever want? It's too much. It's too hard for these people. I'm living in a tiny, like, eight or 900 square foot place and I've been inside this whole time. Insane. Absolutely insane. But while we're talking about insane, there were some insane allegations put out that Kanye West and Jeffree Star were doing the, you know, the doodle, basically. And Jeffree Star decided he wanted to put that to rest by saying this. Hey, you guys, I guess Miss Wendy Williams said hi to me on her show today. Um, the gag is Miss Wendy. No, me and Kanye. Uh-uh. No, thank you, ma'am. But the real rappers that have been visiting this mouth will be keeping that secret to the grave. And I don't know if you guys are aware of this or not, but Jeffree Star being a racist and all, I couldn't see him doing the doodle with Kanye West. That's a joke, of course. I don't know if Jeffree Star is actually a racist or not. But there you guys go. So for anybody who was curious about Jeffree Star, the Ace Family, or Tony Lopez's lawsuit, yeah, there you go.